today i am going to solve question number 12 of exam style questions of chapter number 8 in question number 12 the requirement is um, the uh, the situation is this that a person can become the member of a town guild if he uh, is able to uh, fulfill the given conditions the first condition is this his age should be between 18 and 65 the second condition is not a simple condition any one of these conditions uh, can uh, if any one of the uh, four given conditions is true uh, then a uh, second condition will be true uh, either the person has lived in town for 20 years or the person has uh, lived in town for 5 years but both his parents are still alive in the, in the town or the or if one parent has died and the other parent is still alive or if a brother or a sister of that person is has lived in town for 10 years so uh, i have for these four conditions i have named them as the second condition if the second condition the second condition will be true if any one of these conditions will be true then the third condition is this that that person should have half a million dollars in his bank bank account and the next condition is this that the person should not uh, have gone to prison in his life uh, at least two members of the guild uh, must support uh, his uh, application or if five members support his application then he can be excused of one of the all above given requirements it uh, apart from age it means that age and uh, the consent of five uh, guild members is compulsory uh, for this last condition to be true so this uh, is a uh, totally different part which will be dealt in a separate piece of code and then you are you have been asked to write a program that allows you to input answers to all the questions first and then uh, you have to make sure that the uh the, all the above requirements must be met then a different part of a code requires to allocate a unique membership number to that person also and if the all of the conditions fail then the uh, membership number will not be allocated so uh, we will deal with all the uh, situations separately now let me show you the code that i have made Uh, first of all i have declared the arrays one array will save the name list i have uh, assigned a value of 0 to membership number uh, next i have made a uh, two dimensional uh, array named container which will uh, assign if the member will be allocated a number that member will be uh, saved in that container along with his name i have assigned a starting value of 0 to a variable named counter and i have assigned a starting value of 1 to a variable named i now uh, i have uh, uh, now i have written a while loop this is a whole while loop that will uh, keep on iterating until the value of i is um, equal to no, not equal to 0 is 0 first of all the name Uh, will be input from the user first name will be appended to the array name uh, named name list and then the age of that specific number member will be uh, input uh, then there is a series of boolean questions the first one is this that have you lived in town for 20 years if yes enter press for one enter zero for no then you have you lived in town for 5 years if yes press 1 if no press no all the ones and zeros are being saved in these variables the next question is are both of your parents alive this will be saved in both parents is your is your one parent alive and the other one passed away it will be saved in one parent has one uh, of your brother or sister lived in town for 10 years it will be saved in one sibling do you have half million in your bank account it will be saved in half million have you ever been into prison it will be saved in in prison 
do two members support your application it will be saved in two members do five members support your application it will be saved in five members because the second condition is a, 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 a different case which requires any one of these conditions to be true so i have dealt with it first of all in order for the second condition to be true i have put or between all four conditions if any one of them will be um, equal to one second condition will be equal to one and then i have taken this second condition along with all the rest of the compulsory conditions uh, and if all the conditions are met that member will uh, be given a number membership number uh, one it means one will be added to the membership number this membership number will be appended to the array of members uh, list and if the member in the member uh, if a specific member has been given a membership number uh, this is the code which will relate that name to the member list in a uh, um, and a third array two dimensional array name container it means because we, ha we have to keep a record of the names and member list in, and members together this is the code uh, that will keep a record of all the names and members together then uh, we will print the membership number and the mem uh, member information through container on the screen then the member will then uh, the person who is entering the information will be asked that do you want to um, add information for one more member this was the first condition this is the second condition 